Uh, hello, uh, welcome back everybody. Uh, we're continuing to build a, an HTTP library for Common Lisp. And uh, last time we worked on creating a parse HTTP request, which required us to build a bunch of other functions and, uh, and went a little bit longer than I would like, but uh, we got what we wanted out of it. And today we're going to parse an HTTP response. So uh, we're going to start off here by creating a function parse HTTP response. Oh, another thing I decided to do is I decided to rename these things instead of make HTTP request because that could be misinterpreted as saying, oh, do this HTTP request. I changed this to build HTTP request and build HTTP response. So just as a note, and we're going to parse this response and we're going to create a couple of variables here where, where we have a response line read start line from the response and we're also going to get the headers where we read headers from the response uh, give it a nil and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a list and we're going to go back and look at our um, our HTTP uh, I don't know like standard, and we're going to look at the status line because um, on the request we have a request line, and then for a response we have a status line, and the status line has these fields. So we're going to have an HTTP version, so HTTP version, and this will be nth uh, zero of the response uh, line. And then we're going to have, let's see, what, what's the next thing? Status code, nth one of response line. Then we're going to have the reason phrase, reason phrase, nth two of response line. And then finally, we're going to have the content. Oh, actually, we're going to have headers, which will be flattened list headers nil and then we'll have the content which will be the rest of the response so that should work as an HTTP response now let's test it uh, to give ourselves uh, confidence about this so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to build an HTTP response and uh, oh actually we need to we need to load Load tiny net. Okay, then we can do tiny net build HTTP response, and we're gonna have a status code. It's gonna be 200. Our reason phrase is gonna be okay. Uh, our headers are going to be let's see a content. Um, oops, a content type, which will be text plain. Uh, we're going to have, oh, and this needs to be like that. And then we're going to have our content, content length, which is going to be five. And then we're going to have our content, which is going to be hello. Let's see, content type, content length. Uh, all of that's really good. Let's see. So that creates our nice little response stream. So now we can save this def parameter as a response. And now we've got a response variable that has our response as a stream. Uh, now we can test our parse HTTP response by doing tiny net. Uh, parse HTTP response. Whoops. Respond. Oh, response. Okay. I guess. Uh, I guess that really should be our. All right. We're going to leave this as response for right now, but we're going to rename it to HTTP resp, in order to be uh, uh, congruent with the rest of what we're doing. So we need this to be a stream. So we're going to go back over here and uh, we're going to use make stream input stream. So we're going to convert a string into a stream. 
So make a stream input stream, and we're going to give it a response. And then that should give us um, our parsed response. And we have it. So we've got our HTTP version, which is a 1.1. We've got a status code of 200, a reason phrase of OK. Headers, which has a content type, text plane, content length of 5. And then we have content, which is our string input stream. Right? Very good. So uh, the next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to go back through and uh, clean up a, uh, our functions a little bit by adding some documentation. And Common Lisp is great because you can add some documentation strings to the functions themselves uh, so that it's tied to the function itself. And then when you describe the function, you can actually get some of this documentation strings back out programmatically. So uh, the, what we're going to do is just describe kind of what these things do. So string keyword uh, converts converts um, a string to to a keyword. Some of these things are going to be very obvious, but we're going to, for completeness, we're going to do this. Headers um, no returns or converts. So this will convert uh, a, um, let's see, this is an A list to, um, to header to string, converts an A list to, um, to an HTTP uh, formatted header uh, list, All right? So, uh, and this will convert a single a list entry, or yeah, a list entry. It's best to say that instead of just console. Um, a single a list entry to an HTTP uh, formatted header. line. There we go. Uh, then build HTTP request uh, um, returns a string and HTTP uh, request string. All right. We're going to say uh, returns and returns an HTTP response stream. And read start line uh, parses, parses a start line. components. There we go. So we parse it and return a list of its components and uh, actually returns uh, string tim. Let's see, parse start line. Yep. Yeah, so it just returns a list of its components. So that's very good. And then uh, so this is actually kind of important, so that way we can just look through this. And even though some of these things are extremely obvious and, and some are kind of superfluous, some of these things, for example, like read start line, uh, since um, I'm not using uh, type um, annotations here, this allows me to see very quickly that I'm re just returning a list uh, of, of the components of the start line, right? So I can see kind of the, what the output will be, what the input should be as just a reminder to myself. So here we go. Uh, parse header uh, returns, um, parses a header line. Into... So this, let's see, parses a single, so it splits that header line, 
this string to keyword, stream to uh, parses a single. Into a let's see list string keyword blah, 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 into a a p list. Very important to be able to know if something's a p list or an a list. Flatten list. Um, convert. Let's see. Let flatten list cutter list. Let's see what this does. Um, it takes in, flattens a, oh yeah, because the headers are, and it flattens an A list into a P list. There we go. Used to Uh, a headers list. There we go. Uh, read headers is going to uh, reads a header reads headers. Let's see. Reads header lines from a string and returns as a list. Pretty sure. So if you read headers, okay, here we go. So the results um, equals length, stir trim line, Read headers, stream, push, parse header, so parse header to P list. Okay, very good. So we are telling the truth. Next thing is parse HTTP request. And uh, th what that does is um, reads and parses HTTP request um, a stream. Returns a list. First quest. There we go. And then reads and parses an HTTP response from a stream returns a list of the parsed response. Okay, we're very good. So now we've kind of added some documentation to what we've got. We've parsed a response, we've tested it. So next time, I think what we're going to do is work on these four major functions again on uh, parse, read and parse responses and requests. And right now what they do is they only work with content that are strings. And we want, what we want to do is we want to be able to work with content that's binary as well because we want to be able to send binary content back and forth. So that's what we're going to work on next time. We're going to work on making these uh, uh, work with binary content. So that's it. Have a great day.